So it takes 66 days to change a habit. And if that's the case, that's doable. But after 66 days, why do so many people regress, fall by the wayside, go back to their old ways, end up miserable and bloated and depressed and anxious again, just like they started? Why does that keep happening? And you might think, I've tried everything and nothing works for me. It's obviously willpower. Willpower will see you through to a point, but then the willpower elastic band eventually snaps. And at that point, that's when your system will take over. Your habits, your daily rituals, what you do on a daily basis. But here's the secret. It's not the things, the massive things, the overwhelming, great big, ginormous things that you need to do. It's just the tiny wee small things that you need to keep repeating and repeating and doing them daily and showing up and committing to. And it's dead, dead easy. When you're in that 66 days, you're motivated, you learn, you get up early, you prep your meals, you're, you're eager, you're hungry. But then as time starts to go on, that starts to diminish, which really means actually your system that you've got in place is failing you. For me, I often tell my clients and tell myself, actually, the trajectory that you are on, the path that you're on is far more important than, than the results that are showing up right now the path that you're taking and how you're going to get there. Go, go slowly if you like, but definitely go. Success, whatever that looks like for you, is the product of your daily habits, the things that you do over and over again, repetitively, automatically, we'll call that automaticity, things that you do without even thinking about it, things that you do every single day. And they're the small things, the small things that stack up and a compound effect to be major results. It's the small things. So when people say don't sweat the small stuff, I say absolutely do sweat the small stuff. Don't think about the huge, big, massive things. Think about the small things that you can do every single day. The things that don't take much, but over time, over a year, two years, five years, ten years, that amount to really major results. Think about it this way. Your clutter in your house is a measure of your cleaning habits. Your weight is a measure of your eating habits. Your net worth is a measure of your financial habits. And your knowledge is a measure of your learning habits. And as a compound effect in what you do every single day will affect the results of each of these. So a real life situation could be, you might be a millionaire or a billionaire, but if you're spending more than you're actually making perhaps, uh, then you're going to be focusing on the losses, the daily losses. Uh, but conversely, you might be absolutely skint and broke, but you might actually save more than you actually spend. So you're going to be focused on the wins. And day by day, week by week, month by month, that is going to add up and accumulate to a something. So in the real world then, how that looks is, are you, are you saving more than you, you, you spend? Um, are you going to the gym? Are you committing to movement? Or are you just, eating your way through life and wondering why you're gaining weight and nothing's changing? Um, or are you justifying to yourself at the end of every week, you deserve a night out because you've worked hard, rightly so, and if that's what you like to do, that's fine. But if it's taking you three days to recover and you feel like shit for three days, actually, we need to go back to the drawing board and look at your systems. So just remember, success, whatever that means for you, is the product of small daily habits, repeated on a regular basis, daily, over and over again, so it becomes automatic, which in turn will generate a habit, and a habit is a hardwired set of daily rituals and routines that have to happen automatically. And that is your system, that's your operating system, and that's when you create a standard. And when you create your own standard, you've now got a benchmark from which to compare yourself against, so you know when you're underperforming, but you definitely know when you're overperforming and you're knocking it out of the park. Do it. Small daily routines lead to bigger habits, lead to a hardwired set of rituals, which lead to success that create a standard. Go for it. <laughs>